Got some family size potatoes here. I'm gonna cut this into four even pieces, as even as possible. Here we go. Pulling out one of these pieces. And it's just gonna come out super easy, right? Come on now. <laughs> I'm encouraging it to come out easily for me. It's going right in my very clean hands. Okay, let me set this aside and show you what I'm gonna do. It's sculpting class, everyone. Sculpting class, I'm gonna make a ball with this. And then, oh, I have something to say to you, honey. Mm -hmm. Happy anniversary. Oh, well, thank Happy you, Happy anniversary. Baby. Happy anniversary to you. I am making something that your grandma used to make mm -hmm. for us to enjoy together at lunch. Mm. And we're going out to dinner, so the leftovers are for our kids mm -hmm. and the babysitter while we go out for our anniversary tonight. Mm -hmm. But um, now when you make this, you can use fresh potatoes that you have made yourself. However, um, you know, I don't want to spend my entire anniversary cooking. So <laughs> it is great and fine to do it the easy way. There's my little potato bowl. All right, we're going to make three more of these. All right, the bowls are ready. They are ready to be filled with delicious things. And the first delicious thing is some freshly grated mozzarella. I'm just going to put a little handful in each bowl right there at the bottom. So good. Mm. There we go. Next up, we have some ground beef. Now, we already made this. We cooked this up with some, uh, some onion, some salt and pepper, and some tomato sauce. Was it tomato sauce or marinara? Well, you can use either. Oh. I, whichever you prefer. Or whatever you have on hand, because mm -hmm. either flavor will be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a nice ice cream scoop full size for each one. Mm -hmm. and just kind of smash that down in there a little bit. Just like that. Okay, and now we're gonna cover this with some more delicious cheese. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Yum. Okay, so now while you're cooking this in the oven, it depends on how hot the food is that you're working with. Our uh, ground meat was cooked a little bit earlier, so it has cooled off and our potatoes are cold. So we're gonna cook this at 200 for about 20 minutes. If you're working with hot food, you could probably get away with 10 minutes in the oven. So just use disc discretion and decide, really you just wanna get a nice melt and a nice heat through on all of these ingredients and then you'll be good to go. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh parsley on top because I love that flavor and that color to pop out on that. And these are gonna go in the oven now, just like I said, for about 20 minutes at 200. Look at these beauties. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so excited to dig in. Your grandma was quite the cook and so creative, mm -hmm. and I just love this. Um, I decided to turn on the broiler for just about two minutes, so it gave it that nice brown on the top. Um, I just wanted to give it a little bit of extra, which is why I did that. Taking my time, getting this out, trying to get this out in one piece. You can do it. <laughs> can I? I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah, well, I missed some, but that's okay. It still looks great. There we go. I'm gonna bring this right over so you can see. Look. There we go. Uh, Look at that. Just a perfect serving size. I'm not sure how your grandma kept it together so well. Maybe she added cheese to her potatoes. I don't mm. know. That might, that might be something to try next time to see if that 
That keeps the bowl together a little bit better. Well, maybe they might know in the comments. They could oh, us yeah. Know. Let us know in the comments. Always. We are always open to suggestions. Because we read all those comments. Right. Yes, we sure do. And comment on them back. <laughs> <laughs> Reply to those comments, right? All right. Digging in. Taking a bite. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Meat and potatoes for our anniversary, honey. Mm, I love you. Love you, baby.